I spoke to Imran Khan about the crisis engulfing Pakistan that he is at the center of. In the past year, Khan, who remains broadly popular amongst the public, has been ousted from power, survived an assassination attempt, and narrowly avoided arrest following a police raid on his home. He is now campaigning for fresh elections in the country. Well, obviously, things are a little bit different from when we last spoke. Um, there is a very sort of tumultuous circumstances at the moment around uh, yourself and uh, your party, the arrest of a lot of your supporters and your campaign staff. Um, how are you coping at the moment? You know, Charlie, it's uh, uh, in my 27 years next year of politics, I have never really experienced anything like what has uh, happened to my party or to, for that matter, any political party in the last uh, uh, 11 months since I've been out of power. Hey, man. You cannot imagine what is happening in Pakistan. Never has one man scared the establishment, the political parties as much as it is right now. You look at television, there is only one man which is featuring. Huh? Their worry is how to keep me out. The people on the other, how to get me in. The majority <laughs> of public wants me in. These, this, these mafias and the military, how to keep me out. I mean, the, the sort of things like attack on my house. Yeah. You know, I was from three sides, the police attacked me as if I was <clears throat> some big terrorist holed up here. <clears throat> and the people outside who came outside my house to, uh, you know, uh, get, gathered in large numbers because they have no faith in the government. The government, and I mean the establishment and the political government, actually political government is just a facade. There's they are, you know, they are, uh, they are petrified of elections because their the popularity is next to zero. Their coalition of 12, or I don't know how many parties backing them is the military establishment. You're going to these rallies, you're speaking to people, you're out in, in, in the public. I mean, are you worried about another assassination attempt? And, and have you recovered fully from, from the first um, time you were shot? I still have a problem walking, uh, you know, one of the, the three bullets of my left leg, one of them damaged my uh, nerve. And so my foot is still uh, recovering. So I have a, you know, problem walking, you know, for too long. Uh, the answer is yes, the, the, the threat of assassination is real. For two reasons, the same people who tried to kill me are still sitting in power. And uh, they would be petrified that if I come back, they would be held accountable. So they are more dangerous now. Then there are these two families, you know, who have been plundering Pakistan for 30 years. They have billions of dollars lying outside. And, you know, the they would last thing they would want is that if I come back, then uh, this whole uh, 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 they could be held accountable. So, so yes, the threat is real. And that's why I take precautions as much as I can. But the moment I step out of my house, I know I'm vulnerable. I think the only way forward are free and fair elections because that is political stability is the beginning of fighting, clawing back to get your economy on the ground. But if you do not have free and fair elections, there is this total unpredictable situation right now. The political stability is ensuring that no one is investing in the country. There's no business confidence within or from Pakistan or outside. No. Uh, you're not getting any commercial loans because, you know, our default risk is so high. So we are, we are now really in a blind alley. Uh, the only, and I keep repeating, 
You know, they ask me that, look, why can't you wait till October? I mean, I can wait till October, but can Pakistan wait till October? What is going to happen from now to October that will improve our economy? The only reason why they are delaying the elections to October is because they hope that in the meanwhile, I'll be I'll be out of the way, either disqualified or they have so many cases. One will you know, get me out of the way or imprisoned. This is the only reason that one man, it's never happened here. The whole system, the whole policy is just how to keep Imran Khan out. I was I, in the rally. I asked the establishment a question. I said, look, you tell me what is your game plan? OK, if you can convince me that by keeping me out, you can actually help Pakistan stand on its feet or recover. I said, I'm, I'm willing to go along with you. I'll get out of the way. But give me a roadmap. What is your roadmap?